we made it downtown and there's a shiny magmar in this gym now this is the first time i've ever seen shiny magmar in pokemon go like actually on my own game it's so crazy to actually see that it really is real guys that's one of the rarest shiny pokemon in the entire game i just thought i would show that off really quickly but um there's actually a sunny cast form right here so i'm gonna catch that i haven't seen one of those in a really long time it's very sunny today very hot um there's like no clouds in the sky at all I am sweating actually, but um, today we're going to be working on getting uh, part six of my mythical discovery quest finished. Um, I need to do, I think, seven more raids to um, get through that part. And there's a legendary raid starting um, in about 20 minutes, and I'm going to see if I can get help for that. Um, either way, if I did go in and try to do that raid alone, it would still count towards my um, goal. It would still count as a battle. So either way, I could do that. But I really hope I get some help so I can catch that Latios. Um, I only have one Latios so far, so you never know. I may end up getting help on that. But even if I don't, I may just go in anyways with my free raid pass just so it'll count as a battle. And then if any other raids start around town, I'll definitely try to do those. So that's basically the goal today. So let's get started. So y'all know that I had to go in and take down this shiny Magmar because I'm secretly jealous of it. I want to hatch a shiny Magby so bad. So I'm going to take it down. It's the only thing in this gym. I definitely need some Poke Coins. I haven't taken down gyms in a really long time. It's definitely worth it for those 50 Poke Coins each day. Let's see how long it'll take me to take this out. Ooh, we're destroying it with the uh, water type move uh, Gyarados here. I think this Gyarados has Waterfall and Hydro Pump, so it's definitely a good water type Pokemon to use. Let's just go in with, with whatever the game gives me, though. Um, rock type here, the Golem, that's going to be a really good one to use, too. Let's take it out. This is interesting because it's my first time ever seeing a shiny Magmar in the game, so I love it. And we're destroying this guy. You guys probably know if you watch my channel a lot, I'm not much of a gym battler. So um, this is a rare occasion you see me actually doing this in a video. And I'm about to get gold on that gym badge actually too. So maybe now that I'm putting a Pokemon in there, I'll finally have gold on this one. Um, I only have one gold gym badge in the entire game. And I need to start getting other ones, so maybe that's another thing I'll start working on soon. I need to get my field research stamp today, too, so that's another task we're going to do. Let's leave my um, pink shiny Ampharos in here. Yes, let's see how good it does. Might as well feed it with some berries and uh, get it all stocked up there. Let's feed it some Nana berries so I'm not, like, wasting all of my good stuff. Man, that shiny Ampharos looks awesome sitting next to my trainer. But, yeah, I definitely need to get my stamp today. That's something else we're going to do, so let's go do that. So I found a Duskull raid and it counted as my fourth battle out of 10 that I need towards that goal. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And of course we can shiny check it while we're doing it. And uh, guys, the sun is absolutely killer right now. It is so hot. The, as you can see, it's like super, super bright. But we're doing what we can. But I'm using all Pokemon with dark type moves because they're going to be super effective against this Duskull here. Um, I'm, I decided to use kind of like creative counters like... When do I ever use Sharpedo, right? So I'm definitely going in with like interesting stuff. Let's see how long Sharpedo lasts. I've never used one in battle before. Um, I went in with a lot of Pokemon that have dark moves. Let's just switch them out for fun. Let's use my shiny Sableye. It's 52 CP. It has faint attack as its charge move, so it's going to be super effective. And it got destroyed. Now we're going in with Pupitar that has crunch as its charge move. It's just fun to do interesting counters on the level 1 raid bosses like this. So I thought it would be fun to do that just to make a level one raid a little bit more interesting because duskull is not all that special but um it could be shiny guys i, I do have a shiny dusclops i needed a shiny duskull again so i'll have both of them in my collection let's shiny check this little bad boy i highly doubt it will be shiny but you never know honestly and we got three golden raspberries from that raid that's actually pretty cool i usually don't get golden raspberries from level one raids so hey and we were the only person in the raid so we got all of the premiere balls and not a shiny on the dust school. You know what? Let's go ahead and pine it, bury it. You never know. Um, I may need the candies to power up my uh, shiny dust uh, clops, but um, oh, and it's gonna move around. It's one of those little guys that moves around constantly. I should have nana buried it. I always, always forget to use nana berries. Let's see if we can get it in one ball. Nope, it's gonna be a feisty little thing. It doesn't want the pine it, bury. It's hungry for some raspberries. And we missed. Guys, what if I just like lose this dust skull because I didn't try hard enough? 
Has anyone ever failed a level one raid boss? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Dude, it is actually jumping out a lot. Wow. What if we need to use the golden raspberry on this little thing? No, I'm not even throwing curveballs at it either. Oh my gosh. Guys, my hands are so sweaty, I can't even throw the ball properly. Look at its little taunt. It's laughing at me. Oh my gosh. I have got to do something about this. My hand is like not even working right now. Okay. I dried off my phone screen, guys. I'm so sweaty. It's so hot outside today. <laughs> but let's see if I can throw better. I only have six balls left. If I fail a level one raid boss, I'm seriously going to just quit Pokemon Go forever and throw it. There we have it. I'm actually playing on my iPhone today. Normally, I can throw really good on my iPhone, but where my fingers are so sweaty, it's making the screen all gross. Finally, I caught a dust skull. <laughs> are you sure this isn't a legendary dust skull? That was like super hard for me. Okay, let's appraise it. Simply amazes me. Defense, excellent stats. All right, we're going to transfer it. I have 3,533 dust skull candies from that Halloween event we had in October. So um, I definitely didn't need to pine up that. So I'm not really bummed out that I didn't get that one. Uh, let's see. There's the legendary raid starting in like three minutes. And the uh, there's another level one raid starting in about 30 minutes. So that's going to be super helpful. Let's see our progress on that. Okay, we need six more. So we may end up getting that very, very soon. So we are at the Latios raid. There's no help around at the moment. There's not a car in sight or anything like that. But if I throw my pass in here, it's going to count as my fifth raid battle. And it's going to help me towards my Mew quest. So even if I don't get to catch this Latios, I'm still going to be able to get that reward. So it's still worth using a raid pass in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that pass in and it should count as a battle. Five out of ten. There we have it right there. So um, maybe if someone showed up to this, you know, my raid pass would still be in there. And I would still be able to catch the Latios, but for now, there's no help here. So I'm probably just going to go to the next raid and get my sixth raid battle. All right, you guys, so I ended up getting help for the Latios raid. There's eight trainers in this lobby total, and um, I went in with all super effective counters. I went in with, I think, four Mewtwo, no, three Mewtwo with um, Shadow Ball as their charge move, and I went in with a Gardevoir with Dazzling Gleam, and then two Tyranitars with Crunch, so they're going to be super effective. Um, it's gonna, we're gonna definitely take the Slotios down really quickly. It looks like everyone here is using pretty awesome counters, so it's gonna be a no-brainer, very, very easy. But um, this is only my second ever Latios raid, and this is actually the same spot where I got my Pokedex Latios on Community Day. So I'm really excited about this. I didn't expect anyone to show up. I thought I was just gonna race to waste a pass, but um, hopefully we catch another Latios. All right, so we're getting down to it. There's actually 10 people in here. I thought there was only eight, but there's 10. So we're absolutely destroying Latios. I'm going to have to make sure that I wipe off my phone really good because it is so hot today, like I keep saying, and uh, my fingers are all sweaty and I cannot afford to lose any Premier Balls on this Latios. So I'm gonna have to be really careful. It does zigzag around a lot and it's one of the harder legendaries to actually hit with the Premier Ball. Okay, so can we catch the Latios? 10,000 XP. I should have popped a Lucky Egg. I actually have a bunch that I just got the other day. I bought the Great Box a few days ago. We only got nine Premier Balls. I'm going to have to be super, super careful. Please, please catch it. Like I was saying before, my last Latios I caught on like the second ball. So hopefully this time around, um, I can get as lucky again, but I don't have as many balls this time either, so I'm going to have to be super careful. Alright, let's wait for its attack and throw. Oh god, no, no, we wasted a ball. Okay, let me set the circle again. Whew, it's only 2008 CP though, so it's not that good of an IV Latios, but I still would definitely like to have it. You can never have enough legendaries, and we got the great throw on it. Alright. Oh, please catch it. Please, I want to get lucky today. Come on. Okay, we didn't catch it on the second ball. It's okay. We got seven balls left. Whew. Now I'm stressing a little bit. The legendaries make me so nervous, y'all. Okay, let's wait for its attack again. I hope that it attacks when it's down like that. No, please don't go back up. Oh, man. Oh, man. I have to keep wiping my finger off, guys. The sweat is, like, really bad. <laughs> That's the reality when it starts warming up and you play Pokemon Go in the summertime. Um, lots of sweat. Come on, Latios. Please attack. Please attack me. Come on, don't make me throw it. I guarantee as soon as I throw it, it'll attack. Okay, and great throw, yes. I'm not setting small enough for the excellent throw, but great throws usually do the job. Come on, no, 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 no. Okay, six more balls, guys, we can do this. <sighs> Let's breathe a little. Okay, I'm not gonna throw right now because it might end up attacking again. Sometimes they do it twice in a row. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I need to be patient. 
Do your attack, please. Ooh, that was its little taunt. There's a difference there. Come on. Oh, only a great throw. I'm not setting right for the excellent throw. I can't tell if it's resetting or I'm just not making it small enough. Come on. Oh, oh, I thought I had that one, guys. Five more balls. I actually thought I had that one. Come on. Please, Latios. Okay, and we got another great throw. I guess we're just going to have to aim for the great throws. That seems to be all I'm able to do. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please. Yes. Yes. I caught it, you guys. I got the Latios. It's pretty bad IVs. I'm, I'm almost positive, but I don't care, guys. My second ever Latios. Let's appraise it. Strong Pokemon. Defense. Excellent stats. Wow, that's like one of the lowest Latios I could have caught. But there we have it. I have two now. I mean, I'm happy with that, I guess. I didn't waste that raid pass. And now I have two more raids that we're going to head to so I can um, get them to count towards my mythical discovery quest. So there we have it. Yes, that was so lucky. I really didn't think I was going to get any help. And now I caught my second ever Latios. I have a perfect catch streak. Um, capture streak on my Latios right now so yes guys smash that like button for the legendary and I need to buckle up because we're driving now and I don't want to get a ticket so smash that like button for Latios you guys <laughs>my sixth battle that I need yes there we have it number six and there's someone in here shout out to dragon 000004 what's up level 35 hey I'm not really gonna be strategic with my um, counters or anything like that it's just a swabbly raid it's gonna be really easy to take down and it is another shiny tech there's a lot of raid bosses that can be shiny so I guess that's one benefit to using a premier raid pass on a level one raid boss at least you can shiny check a lot of them um, it's pretty weird that you spend the same amount of money on a legendary raid pass as you do a level one, but I guess it just is what it is. Um, like I said earlier, I bought the great box a few days ago, got a bunch of incense, lucky eggs, raid passes, and I think pineapple berries was the other thing that came in it, but um, I'm definitely glad I got that now because all these raids that I'm doing, uh, I wouldn't be able to do them if I wouldn't have got all the passes out of that box. So. Let's see how fast we can take this Swablu down together. I'm using an, an Agron, and uh, it looks like Dragon here is using a Rhydon. So, they're kind of like brothers or twins or something like that. It's pretty funny. But, wouldn't it be great if we get another uh, Shiny Swablu? It would be my third one. You never know. I don't know if the odds are the same on this as it would be a Wild Encounter. Don't know the Shiny odds exactly or how they work. but Or we could get a 100% from this raid too. So, two Golden Raspberry two revive one rare candy 500 stardust awesome i should be using a lucky egg on all of these i just keep forgetting this would be a lot of xp today all this rating for sure okay 12 balls i don't think we'll need it but okay no shiny on the small blue that's a little bit much to ask for but let's go ahead and raspberry it and try to catch this little bad boy it may have really good ivs you never know and we got a great throw on it yeah i love my little cloudy bird it's so cute all right let's see by the way, there's a lot of people out playing nowadays. Like, usually my town is a ghost town, but I've noticed lately there's a lot more trainers out. So, shout out to Dragon for the Swablu raid. <laughs> okay, praise. Strong Pokemon. Not good. Gonna transfer it. But I guess it's good for the candies and definitely good for that reward. I'm gonna shiny check this air run right here, too. No shiny on that. Alright, guys. That means we need how many more raids? Four more raids. Okay, so I have one in mind that we're gonna go to, and I guess we'll just see how far we can get. Alright guys, so the seventh raid is going to be a Mysterious raid. I love Mysterious. Y'all know that's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I love my ghost types. And this is the first time I've ever done a Mysterious raid. I went in with all Bite and Crunch uh, Gyarados and Tyranitar. So they're going to be um, super effective against this Mysterious. It's going to be really easy to take down. But um, this is probably going to be the last raid that I can do today. Because um, all of the raids of the day are going to be over in about 30 minutes. And no more are going to be spawning. They usually quit coming around around uh, 7.30 every night. So so we're about to have the Mysterious down. And I actually want to do this in AR Plus mode since it's going to be the last raid of the day. 
I thought it would be a little bit special. It's been a while since I've caught a Mystery Vis 2, so um, I've never done one in AR Plus mode either. And they actually updated the game yesterday, and AR Plus mode is supposedly much better now. A lot of people are reporting that on Twitter. So let's go ahead and give that a whirl. All right, let's do the AR Plus mode of the Mystery Vis. Look how cute she is next to the castle tower. Apologies about my hair, guys. It's super, super windy today because it was like 80 degrees the other day and then it went down to 30 degrees and now it's back up to 80 so the wind is absolutely insane but let's catch this little gal oh my gosh guys she actually takes a lot of work on AR plus mode she definitely um, is very very hard to sneak up on you can't really just sneak up on her you got to be very very careful let's go into picture mode and take a picture of her oh guys they did fix AR plus mode you can walk around the Pokemon now they finally fixed it they finally fixed it where I can walk around and look at the raid boss and all that. That's so cute. I love it. Let's get close. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, my gosh, guys. I love this. This is adorable. Okay, let's just save that. And then let's catch her now. I'm not going to be annoying and just stay on AR mode the whole time. So let's go ahead and catch her. But they did fix AR plus mode. It looks much better. So props to Niantic for reaching out to us AR lovers and fixing it. It's one of the reasons I bought my iPhone in the first place. Yay, we got the Mischievous. Let's check the IVs on it. Don't know the perfect uh, CP on one of those. A strong Pokemon, not very good IV. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to transfer it. I do have a 100% Mischievous already, actually. So, goodbye, my friend. You were still a cutie and a great um, AR photo op. So, let's see. I still got to get my stamp today, and that's pretty much the last thing I need to do. So, I just won a gym battle. That was one of my tasks that I needed to do to earn my stamp today. So, let me go ahead and claim that. I only get three super potions out of it, which isn't the best reward, but I just need that stamp so I don't get behind any more than I already am. But, let's go ahead and look at my progress on this special research, guys. I only need three more raids. I'm going to go out tomorrow and try to get some more raids done. We're getting super, super close, and um, I think part seven of the mythical discovery quest is a pretty easy one and then part eight is catching Mew. so guys i know i keep saying we're close to getting Mew, but we actually are and it's getting really exciting so i'm really excited to finally catch up and get my Mew. but i guess that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my gengar gang and i will see y'all in the next video bye